Go ahead. Okay. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Last Wednesday, India held a anti-satellite test. Uh. Now, this test created a cloud of orbital debris that's flying in low Earth orbit. And so when I think of orbital debris that they're tracking, it's the size of my fist, several, several pieces of that. Now, that's potentially of high risk to NASA assets, and more importantly to our NASA astronauts. What's NASA's reaction to that? It is absolutely true that intentionally creating orbital debris fields is not compatible with human spaceflight. Here's what we know about the most recent direct ascent anti-satellite test that was done by India. We know that we have identified 400 pieces of orbital debris from that one event. That's what's been identified. Now, all of that cannot be tracked. What we are tracking right now, objects big enough to track, we're talking about 10 centimeters or bigger, about, about 60 pieces have been tracked. In other words, they've got a tracking number and, and we're able to keep, keep up with where they are. Of those 60, we know that 24 of them are going above the apogee of the International Space Station. That is a terrible, terrible thing to create an event that sends debris in an apogee that goes above the International Space Station. And that kind of activity is not compatible with the future of human space flight that we need to see have happen. We are charged with commercializing low Earth orbit. We are charged with enabling more activities in space than we've ever seen before for the purpose of benefiting the human condition, whether it's pharmaceuticals or printing human organs in 3D to save lives here on Earth, or manufacturing capabilities in space that aren't, you're not able to do in a gravity well. Like All of those are placed at risk when these kind of events happen. And when one country does it, then other countries feel like they have to do it as well. So Patrick, I'm with you. I get it. I understand it. It's unacceptable. And NASA needs to be very clear about what its impact to us is. Now, we're learning more and more every hour that goes by about this orbital debris field that has been created from this anti-satellite test. Where we were last week with an assessment that comes from NASA experts as well as the Joint Space Operations Center, I guess it's the Combined Space Operations Center now, the CSPOC, was that the risk to the International Space Station was increased by 44 percent. The risk, and the, I'm talking about small debris impact to the International Space Station, the risk went up 44 percent over a period of 10 days. So the good thing is it's low enough in Earth orbit that over time this will all dissipate. You go back in time 2007, direct ascent anti-satellite test by the Chinese, all of that orbital debris is, not all of it, but a lot of it is still in orbit, and we're still dealing with it. And we're still, we as a nation are responsible for doing space situation awareness and space traffic management, conjunction analysis for the entire world, and we're doing it for free, compliments of the taxpayer of the United States of America, from an orbital debris field that was created by another country. Okay. We're going to take one more question from the audience. Hi, Jim Green, NASA Chief Scientist. 